Hello everyone, I'm Di Hua from Wiser Biker and today we are going to do some climbings. Now we are at the CBD area and uh, we'll be doing three climbs today. Could you guess what are the three climbs? Now do pay attention when you're riding on the west coast road because the leftmost lane sometimes will just direct you to the expressway. So do filter early, but the traffic in the morning seems to be still kind. Let's go for our first climb here. The gradient is slowly increasing, heart rate is bumping. Yes, so far so good. I mean, the, at the starting part, I was still full of energy and uh, was able to climb up with a lot more energy. As the slope goes more, more and more steep, the gradient is increasing. My heart rate is going higher and higher. Now it reached 170 very soon. And my speed is going the other direction. Oh, at this point of time, you can see I'm already starting to experience a little bit more difficulty. Probably I've already been changing gears, changing to the lighter gears and grinding hard. Alright, this is one of the steepest part. It is at 30, 13, 15% gradient. Still grinding. Wow. Leg is burning. And at some point of time, I actually have to get off the saddle to ease my legs and to push forward. Wow and I struggle to keep my handle straight, keep, struggle to keep my front wheel straight. I'll struggle to cycle in a straight line. <laughs> oh, look at that, the hikers are laughing at me. Oh, why is this guy so slow? <laughs> Iron has overtaken me. <sighs> Finally, we have reached the peak. <sighs> At this point of time, I think my legs are totally crashed. It's nice view at the top of the mountain though. Uh, that is one of the reward that you get for the hard climbs. Beautiful sunshine, beautiful scenery.
So today we're at the Mount Faber Climb, and I feel like every time I'm repeating the same line again and again, and that is, this is by far the hardest climb so far. <laughs> I thought MPU was difficult, but then Mount Faber was crazy because it just once you hit the start, it's just suddenly the gradient increase, and you just have to keep climbing and climbing and climbing. So, well, but it's very enjoyable. It's fun. You look at it, the view here is nice, beautiful, weather well, is good and you should really come and try it. Alright, today we have three climbs to go and this is the first one. We choose the toughest one for first and so I suppose the next two will be a breeze. <laughs> okay, I hope. Now let's look at how I fare for the Mount Faber climb. It is by far the toughest climb and we can tell from the data here. Average heart rate was 167 and it is pushing my maximum heart rate to my maximum heart rate of 186. The moving time was 7 minutes and 35 seconds over a distance of 1.56 kilometers. Long and grueling. Uh, elevation gain was 81 meter. Average gradient 10.7%. Maximum gradient of 15.1%. Next we are at the Pepe's Road. And after doing the Mount Faber Challenge, I believe that this one will be a lot easier for me. The starting of the climb is still bearable. It is relatively gentle. And I was uh, enjoying the scenery. It feels like you're in the army going for a morning hike, or oh, I mean, morning march. Wow, little do I know that once you turn, the whole scene changed. The slope ahead is rather intimidating, and the gradients from now on, the slope from now on, become much more steep, and it becomes steeper and steeper. My heart is pumping faster, it's going above 170 now and my speed has dropped to 12. I mean, struggling to keep it above 10. I thought it was over, but just wait for the second <sighs> turn. Now you can see, once you make the turn, uh, this is painful because when you turn, you actually lose all the momentum and it was as though you had to start pedaling from a stop position. That was really painful. I almost had to get off to, to push the bike, but I tell you guys, I think it's absolutely fine to push. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Happy Roads looks a little bit easier on the legs and my heart. The average rate, average heart rate was 151. Uh, maximum heart rate this time round is 178. Moving time was 3 minutes and 46 seconds. A significantly shorter distance of 0.75 kilometers. Elevation gain is 47 meter. Average radian is 7%, so less than 10 this time. Maximum gradient is 12.9%. Lastly, we are at the Turlo Blanca climb, and this one is a opposite of the Pepe's Road. 
it actually start off with a more punishing climb of I'll never tell, never tell Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets You're keeping these promises strong as a spell And it slowly, uh, it quickly go to 12% gradient <sighs> I mean, I just finished, after finishing two difficult climbs and now I met with this very unfriendly slope. Uh, watch out for the cars here. There seems to be more traffic. Well, they say tough time don't last, and that's exactly true at Tolo Blanca because after a short while, the slopes get more gentle, the gradients become lower and the climb just becomes easy the scenery here is also pretty nice another car watch out so when you're towards the peak towards the top the elevation was actually the gradient was quite gentle the slopes are quite gentle it's get easier to ride strong as a spell i'll never Uh, it seems like we have reached the top well i'm not sure there is a oh there seems to be a higher point but oh too bad it's not that i don't want to go up but it's been cordoned off so another time and finally the data for Telo blanca it is about the same as Pepe's road average heart rate is 156 maximum heart rate is similar to Pepe's at 178 moving time is slightly longer five minute and 15 seconds over a distance of 1.23 kilometers elevation gain this time is 41 meter average gradient 8.2 percent and maximum gradient only 12.7 percent now the time for wiser biker to rate these three climbs in the central of singapore let's start with mount faber climb and mount faber climb i must say it is by far the toughest climb i have ever had now, every time I say this, and now Mount Faber has gotten the title. Okay, so I'll give it five star personally because um, it is it is very painful, it's torturous. But the view was very good at the top of it, and I enjoyed the very long continuous climb. Uh, I'm not sure it was because it was a Monday morning. There was very little traffic. There was only two cars that we met along the way, and very few hikers. So I really enjoy it as a cyclist. Got to own the road, and hmm, not only that, I enjoy the descent very well. After after the painful, after you kill yourself climbing up, you have a very nice and very thrilling descent. Okay, and it's long, so you gotta enjoy the wind, enjoy the speed. But do watch out if the road is wet because it can be slippery. Next is the Pepe's road. We will give it a four star. Well, it is a shorter climb compared to Mount Faber. In fact, it is the shortest climb. It's a short, but it's very sharp. It's very... Uh, so starting, it was gentle. It was gentle at the start, but it gets more steep towards the um, middle or the end part, at the end part as well. And every time you take a turn, you will see 
the slope ahead and that could be very demoralizing if you are climbing uh, there well but it will be over it will be over very soon for us we it was over before i even knew it uh, so i call it a very short and sharp climb well there's nothing we don't like about this climb there's also nothing special about this climb except that there was a uh, famous prawn noodle coffee shop at the start of the climb at the foot of the climb so you can go and try it out and lastly the Teluk Blanga climb we will give it a four star well i think the Teluk Blanga climb is just a uh, too easy even for beginners with weak legs like me weak lungs like me i still find i also find it easy <laughs> <laughs> well maybe it was because the climb um, it was tougher at the start and as you go it become more gentle so uh, towards the later part you find that you're getting easier and easier and easier to climb well uh well there, there seemed to be a very nice view somewhere there but at the day on that particular day when we were riding we were too focused on riding and finishing the ride or maybe we were just too shack and then we forgot to check out the awesome view over there but to take a note here also do note that um, there are more traffic and more hikers uh, at the Tolo Blanca climb I mean at least from our experience that day now here's a good news for you all these three climbs at the central part of singapore has got car parks there very nearby in fact it is really at that location itself so if you are planning to just drive there or take a taxi there and ride and hit those slopes until you drop or do the whatever climbing challenge mouth Everest challenge strava challenge you can do so and when you are really 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 tired after the climbs you can actually take a cab or drive back home it's very convenient and my personal favorite would be the mouth favor climb anytime and and here is a picture that speaks a thousand words it's just got everything that a cyclist or a climber would want and I probably think that it is the best that Singapore has to offer <laughs> you probably can't find another climb that is about I mean same as this in, in Mount Faber now before we go before we end um, this is a gentle reminder for all those of you who are planning to go and try out these climbs get yourself a heart rate monitor because you really need to listen to your body while you are cycling monitor your heart rate because when doing strenuous activities as such it's very important to monitor your heart rate so that you don't over exert or go beyond your limit All right so please ride safe and enjoy this ride thank you i'm diwa from wiser biker hope you enjoy our climb today remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you have any other climbs that you think can torture us, please drop it in in the comment box below. I am very excited and looking forward to kill my legs once again. I'll never tell. Yeah, I'm like you, that's for sure. Never have to close the door. Been a long time, a year before. And I'm missing you so bad. Gone away, I'm